Late in 1994, the U.S. military made the CCEMG launcher, the cannon caliber electromagnetic gun launcher. This is one of the world's first attempts at using magnets to shoot things, and this railgun fired about 50 shots during its testing, with scientists meticulously gathering data about each shot. The first 11 rounds were pretty weak and revealed some flaws in the design that needed fixing. The weakest shot fired a 3.5 ounce slug, 1,513 grains, so like three of these, and it was at sub-hypersonic speeds, but still pretty fast, 3,185, which is about as fast as a 5.56 round. Me having both of these on the table is really convenient. However, I was planning on using a quarter pounder from McDonald's to showcase the size, because that would be about the same weight, but I'm filming this right on top of that whole salmonella thing with McDonald's, so I don't want to risk that for a bit. Anyway, that aluminum dart hit with 34,000 foot-pounds of energy, which is almost the exact same kinetic energy as the Terran Impaler. Wait, hold on a second. StarCraft came out four years after that. Maybe they used that data to make a sci-fi video game realistic. That sure would have been really cool. But what would have been even cooler is if they had gotten back to me about the questions that I asked. They did not email me back. Anyway, that was intentionally the weakest shot that the US military fired for this program. Wouldn't it be absolutely horrible if this $500 million project only amounted to a basic gaming sniper rifle, the, the Halo one? But no, they went on to test rapid fire capabilities, multiple rounds, and peak performance. One of the last shots it fired through a 180 gram slug at 5,856 feet per second. Over Mach 5, finally hypersonic. Faster than gunpowder as we know it, with chemistry as we know it, can throw a projectile. This round would smack a target with 212,000 foot-pounds of energy. In the 1990s, we used magnets to make a gun that hits harder than the 30 millimeter Gao Avenger. You know, the one on that A-10 Warthog. I think that's pretty neat. Now, this wasn't the first functional railgun. That honor belongs to India and their Armament Research and Development Establishment, ARDE. They were able to achieve incredibly high speeds over Mach 6, but with very light projectiles, you know, actually about the size of this 5.56 NATO round, but going twice as fast as this. It was fired earlier in 1994. And we've done recent testing. One fired in 2010 achieved muzzle energy of 24 million foot pounds. Like, that is the kinetic energy of a Hellfire missile exploding on target, you know, one that's capable of defeating almost all known armor that we have in existence. But one of the flaws of these railguns, one reason why in 2020 the US railgun plans were pretty much scrapped, is they're too big. 